Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic. Today we are taking a look at the Hellfire Ramparts dungeon. This is just the regular version of the dungeon, as we are level 60, and we'll be healing this today on a priest that is mostly discipline spec. And this will be the first dungeon that I have healed in the Burning Crusade, so this should be interesting. I'm hoping that it goes well. As we pull aggro on the first pull, always a good sign. And this is actually uh, opening at night, so the portal just opened up a few hours ago, and right away everyone is basically spamming dungeons. I'm not really sure if maybe that's a faster way to level than actually questing. We are also doing a questing playthrough. And I actually ran this dungeon so many times back in the actual Burning Crusade that I still remember almost all the pulls. I don't remember a lot of the specific boss mechanics, which should be surprising seeing as how I did those on a tank. <laughs> so we'll have to see how that goes. But yeah, definitely this is all very familiar to me. It's, it's weird to be standing here in the back healing it and not having to actually worry about the poles. It's kind of a relief. Yeah, we do have skinning, but I need to level that up a little bit. It's close, it's at three, it's at 280, so. Let's get a big heal here on the druid and actually pay attention to what we're doing. We don't exactly have the best water with us, but I am going to try to regen some mana here between pulls. We'll use our wand a little bit to help out with DPS when we can. I could probably throw down Shadowward Pain, I just don't really want to waste the mana, honestly. Some male legs, 40 stamina, 26 arcane resistance, yeah we'll go ahead and greed on that.
definitely going to have to check out getting some better quality of water. I'm sure that there's something here in Outland we could buy that's going to be a lot better than the Morning Glory Dew that we were gifted a stack of. Bell chest piece with stamina and nature resistance on it. Not sure who would want to wear that kind of resistance gear, especially at this point, but I guess it's something that people can sell for gold. We're going to wait back here for the tank to pull this and make sure that our mana is topped off. Close enough. Well, with that kind of greater heal spam, we are definitely going to be running out of mana early and often. Let's see how much we can get back before this patrol comes down the road here to punch us in the face. Totem pull. And halfway will probably be the last moment. There we go. Let's stand up. Let's not wait much more than half health. Taking some pretty significant hits from these guys. I'm also curious to see how much experience we get from this clear and see if it is a way for people to level up who don't want to do quests. Not sure why you'd want to skip all the quests, but some people prefer to level up in dungeons, so... We'll kind of get an idea as to whether or not that's a viable thing. We're, we're not gaining too much experience per kill. And there, there definitely are quests to do here. I don't have any of the quests right now. We've only done a couple of quests in Hellfire Peninsula at all at this point. I was just really excited to get into the dungeon and to see it again after so long.
something I'm learning already is on top of probably bringing better water, we're just going to want to bring a lot more water. A stack of 20 doesn't seem like it's going to cut it for a full clear here. I can't really tell if the wand is an upgrade. The one we have has an equip bonus of up to 11. Uh, we'll just, we'll, we'll go greed on it. I think we got it anyway. I could take a look at that later to see if that's actually an upgrade or not. Alright, this is... is this basically the first boss or is this considered a mini boss? And the question is, are we going to clear a bit more? I think we need to take these guys out here on the right before we pull this guy. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we are going to wait for the boss to path back and grab him. I'm going to let our natural regen hopefully get us somewhere back around full mana. And we're going to conserve our water for later on. Looks like we're sapping the second ad. We're going to focus fire on the remaining ad. And yeah, he didn't really stand much of a chance against us. We got the light touched breastplate to drop. No paladins in the group. So, there's that. Let's go worry about the remaining ad here. And that was a lot easier than I remember it being, but I guess that makes sense. All 
I'm not going to throw any heals until he has all them on him, unless they get him below half health here. I'd love to see that skull move. The skull didn't move. That was close. That was too close. Whew. Okay, I probably waited a little bit too long. Now we need to get our mana back. Looks like we're going to take these guys. I, I think you probably could skip this pull if you really wanted to. But it does make sense just to go ahead and clear them out. Since, you know, they're worth experience. And we need lots of experience to get to level 70 at this point. Kind of worried about this being a five pull though. I don't like it. Yeah, let's send the Rogan to maybe sap something. Do we have any other CC? We really don't. Yeah, this could get a little gnarly. Or it could be completely taken in hand. Okay, yeah, there was nothing to worry about. I guess the dogs might not have the same health or damage output as the normal mobs. Let's not forget the sapped one. I'm going to stay back here, and we're not going to get ahead of the tank, because that would be disastrous.
I'm not the most social of players, but I'll, I'll try to respond to things that are addressed towards me or adjacent to me. Basically, if you don't get the whole group killed, I, I don't really have an opinion on your gameplay. If you're not getting the whole group killed, your gameplay is good enough. That was a well-timed pull on that path right there. That was very good. This druid obviously knows how to pull this dungeon. Ideally, I wouldn't have that hot ticking on him right now. I'm gonna stand right near him just in case. Yeah, see? That was kind of what I was worried about, was like having that heal going on him kind of pulled everything to us. That was a mistake on my part. The druid did hit us with innovate, innervate, so that's good, that helps out a lot. We might make it through this with the water that we have on us, but it's going to be pretty darn close. Uh, 11 intellect. Improved spell hit increases damage and healing done by magical spells and effects by up to 25. Let's see. Do we have any other needs on that? I'm needing on that one. Yeah, it seems like with the hit rating, it's more of a DPS item. Since I'm here as a healer, I, I'm not going to roll on that. If no one else needed it, I probably would have taken it. Because it, it does have bonus to heal and bonus to damage, which we'll need for questing. But yeah, if somebody else needs it for DPS, I'm not going to take it.
gonna try to not drink until we, after we've dealt with these two, let our natural regen kick in a little bit. Our soul stone is about to expire. Wonder if we will be getting another one of those. We'll do some wanding because wanding is free. Alright, now we'll get our mana back. We are down to nine waters. Let's hope that uh, we will get through this. I've learned a really valuable lesson. I'm going to be bringing two stacks of at-level water with me from now on. Shakai, feast my pet, eat your fill. A crash. That was quite a bit of uh, AOE damage that just went out there. Not really happy about all that. But it looks like we're going to be fine. Potentially, maybe. Oh, we're out. Okay. Yeah, that was a little too close. A little too close. Hey, look, more paladin gear. Well, I guess that could be warrior gear? I don't know what that's for. I don't know what that is for. I think we've only got a couple more pulls left to get to the last boss up here, so yeah, we should be good. Mm, I kind of want to wait till we're full, but we'll, we'll go ahead. Try to stick with the tank here. There goes the shaman. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the shaman just fell off. They must have landed on one of the lower levels, though, uh, because they're not dead. Yeah, lucky fall. <laughs> That's awesome. Can we get out here to loot without falling? Yes. Okay, perfect. 
And yeah, it looks like we will have a second before our friend rejoins us. Oh, we're definitely going to wait for you to get back, buddy, because we're not going to four-man this. That would not be a great idea. Warlock pet ruining my thumbnail shot. <laughs> there we go. That's good enough. That must be quite a run back. Is that back at the very beginning? I think so. I think like when we beat this guy to get out, we can actually drop down over here to make our exit. So that must have been somewhere back near the beginning. All right. Let us resume. I don't know how much wanding actually helps, but I feel like even like a little bit more DPS must help a little bit, you know. Pity they were all in vain. Soon your people will kneel to my lord. Oh, and he's down, uh, just like that. So don't stand in the fire. If that wasn't clear, Nizam descends from the sky. Okay, so the dragon comes down. And then we fight the dragon. Okay. That was actually incredibly easy. Was that really it? Okay then. The Hell Reaver pole arm dropped. 30 strength, 27 stamina. And the ring. We are going to roll need on this ring against whoever else. I feel like that's fair game. And we won it. That is the first blue that we have won in the Burning Crusade. So yeah, pretty awesome guys. That was a lot of fun. It was easier than I thought it was going to be. And we didn't have any major problems. In fact, I was probably the biggest problem in the group by not bringing enough at level water to uh, sustain the, the pulls, you know? But yeah, a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. We're gonna be doing all of the dungeons in the Burning Crusade, and I'll keep them in this separated playlist just for the dungeon runs. So if you're looking for more Burning Crusade content, you can find it right here. Consider subscribing to the channel and tossing a like down. It would help me out a lot, and I would greatly appreciate it. So until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Outland really soon. Bye now.